Hello, this is James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Um, today, my video is really aimed at younger students or maybe children just coming on to an 11 Plus course or just coming into 11 Plus tutoring. So I kind of promised um, one video a week aimed at children going into the exam this September and one for um, younger starters. So that's one of these videos for the younger ones. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the real genius of the decimal system in that how easy it is for people and for kids to be able to multiply and divide by 10, 100, 1000. Um, and the great thing about the decimal system is that all we are doing is, sh well, we're shifting a number actually against the decimal point. But in terms of kids conceptualizing this, I teach kids that for every zero here, so say it's times 10, you do one jump. If it is multiply, it's the way you read and write. I'm quite a visual person, so I'll get kids to imagine this, the image of a book, multiply to the right. They can, they can remember that, you know, because there's a mental hook there. So if it's times 10, one jump. If it's times 100, there are two zeros there. So it is two jumps to the right. 1,000, three zeros, so it's three jumps to the right, and so on. For divide, it's exactly the same thing but it's the opposite direction. So I always tell kids, you know, when you multiply, it's the way you read and write. When you divide, it's the opposite. Now, of course, what's actually happening is the number is moving relative to the decimal point, but this is a way of helping kids remember, and it works quite well. Um, so I'm just gonna run through some very simple examples. We've got 1.4 times 10. So if we look at this, we've got the multiplier, that means the way we read and write. We'd, we've got times 10, so it's one zero. And I even get kids to draw on the jump like this and move it. So it is 14 points. Now, we ov obviously, we don't have 14 point. It depends what format they want the answer in. Normally, it's just 14, or you could put point zero. But generally, we teach kids there's no point in having point zero, unless, of course, it's money and you want two decimal places, then it'll be point zero zero. But usually, you just have the number if it's a whole number. 1.4 times 100, two jumps. Now, this is an interesting case. When you run out of numbers to jump over, you simply add a zero. So it becomes 40 point zero or 40. 1.4 divided by 10. Now this time we're going the opposite way to the way we read and write, and it's one jump. So we are going this way, and it becomes 0.14. Now we don't write 0.14, we put 0.14. We're allowed one zero before the dot. We don't have zero, zero point, we have zero point. Next one, um, divided by 100. So now we've got two jumps over, we run out of numbers, so we add a zero. I would strongly suggest that children draw these jumps on when they're still learning this. It's a lot easier for them. So this then becomes 0 0.014, or as it should be written, 0 0.014. Sometimes I pick kids up on this as well. They'll say, oh, it's 0 0.014. And I was saying, no, you can't say 14, it's one four, because 14 um, is talking about units and tens. So it's 0 0.14, not 0 0.14. We must pick them up on that. Next thing, so a nice easy one. Now we've got 14 times 10. Now at school kids are taught where you just put zero on, but it's, it's good to use this to explain why we do that. So 14, whole numbers are 14.0, it's 0.0. So if it's times 10, what's actually happening is you're doing this. So it becomes 140.0, but of course it's just 140. Um, but that actually is, is really important. This whole thing here is really important for the 11 plus. It's, it's really part of anyone's basic toolkit in navigating the, the decimal system. I really hope you've enjoyed this very quick video today um, and stay tuned for next week. There'll be more. Please don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the notifications. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.